And we're back. And today we're going to be taking a look at Hostile Mars Prologue because, well, I have a little tiny little bit of free time and I'd like to play around. And this one looked like fun. It's called as a cross between Orcs Must Die and Satisfactory. I don't know about the Satisfactory thing, but it, it definitely get an Orcs Must I'm Die vibe, but with robots. Oops. Yeah. This game is still kind of new. This game is an active development pre-release, something like that. When you load it up first, it lags like crazy, but uh, then it all seems to clear up. Now, this is, you know what? Let's ignore all of this for the time being, and let's just start an enemy wave. And yeah, this thing lands down and drops off a bunch of robots. Then they swarm towards your base and try and kill you. Basically wave defense. This is a wave defense game. That's it. It's not even that complicated of a... Uh, a game. Alright, uh, we'll just wait over here for them. I've done this before. I've done, I've played like about 20-30 minutes of this just to get a feel for it and it seems pretty straightforward. They show up and we shoot them. One down. Done. And yeah, as you can see, the first waves are not that hard. In fact, this is going to be a repeating pattern. You go around though and you have to collect up all these little bits on the ground. Now when you complete it, you seems you get this little crate. In fact, we'll go over and have a look at that. I think still in development, so yeah, not all the pieces are complete. I think you're supposed to go around and harvest things or find them or something, but meh. For now, all you do is you come back here and you pick up this case and it will give you a bunch of resources. So we've got our hands on a scrap laser turret. You can actually place that down. Let's just throw one down here. Give me this scrap laser turret. And say, oh, damn it. There we go. They really need like blue arrows on this to tell you where it goes. That really does look like a scrap laser turret. Enemies that stand in front of that will take damage, um, but you kind of have to force them into one area. Now there's a, more stuff that goes on over here, like there's this console here that has a tech tree. So let's just go into scrap, and it wants us to research the blast furnace. And this costs, if we click on it here, you can see it costs one of these drives, and we have four of them. And you pick up those drives off the enemies you kill. So if you want to research stuff, you got to kill enemies, and then once you kill enemies, you can research this stuff. Uh, the next thing I think it's going to want is welding, so we'll just grab that now while we're here. Actually pretty quick, but some of the later stuff takes more time, so you'll queue it up and walk away. There we go, we've managed to get walls and a blast furnace. Then, oh, let's uh, go over here for a second. There is this thing. This thing allows you to craft, you know, your scrap, your furnace, but it also allows you to craft ammo cells, walls, things like that. And then there's another thing over here. This one is for your weapons. You can get weapon upgrades to make your pistol better. Uh, we don't have any other blueprints but that, unfortunately. And this thing over here is the recycler. We can throw in parts we find, like see this is a hover module, uh, this one can give us salvaged wires, uh, no this part, chance to find salvaged wires and hoverbot booster. Okay, let's throw this one in and have a look. So you throw it, in, you just throw it in there, it gets recycled and you get these things, scrap segments and we got some glass lenses out of that. Now one second, after collecting the necessary scrap you can insert them in here and build yourself one of these scrap blast furnaces. See these scrap segments here? They're pretty much your base, base things you can make. This is like uh, the bottom tier stuff. You can use that to make scrap metal, which, you know what, let me show you. This here is the blast furnace. Once you've made one, you can throw in all of these scrap segments, and the scrap met segments can be turned into scrap metal, and the scrap metal is sort of what you can use to build everything else. So. <laughs> Basically, you kill the robots, you get bunches of parts, you're going to throw a bunch of them in here, those things will turn into scrap segments, those scrap segments you throw in here to make scrap metal, that scrap metal you can then use to make other stuff like, oh, I don't know, ammo and things like that. And to make the scrap blast furnace, you need scrap segments and these energy cells. The energy cells you also pick up from the enemies, and scrap walls, or scrap build panels, you can use them to make walls and floors. That basically comes from scrap metal and Mars rock. Mars rock is, oh god, let me just have a quick run over here and show you. This here is Mars Rock. Uh, you just hit the F button and you start smashing it. And I give it this 5, 8, 10, 13 Mars Rock. If you actually go into your inventory, you can see we've got about 13 of them in here. These things can stack up to about 999 as far as I'm aware. So you can store a lot of stuff in your inventory, but you're going to run out of space eventually. There's just so much random junk you're going to pick up, like, oh, I don't know, iron bars and things like that. Anyway, you take that Mars Rock back here. And what you can do is you can throw that Mars Rock into this machine, and this turns that Mars Rock into iron ore. Now you have to do a bunch of other research, but that gets you metal bars, things like that. But realistically, what you want to do at the start, come over here, start enemy waves, and do a bunch of them. At some point, they'll even give you a shotgun. All the early waves, you do not need turrets. You don't need walls, you don't need anything. You're just going to stay here and blap a bunch of them with your pistol, because it's good enough to take care of the problem. 
Uh, excuse me, while I do about the next five or six ways. After you have cleared a few waves, they're going to give you the scrap shotgun. Take it. Take it immediately. This thing is absolutely monstrous. Oh, and you can store stuff in some of these cases so you can, you know, put away your scrap for later use. Like, there's a scrap spring. I'm not even sure what half of this stuff is for. You know what? You can all just go in there for now. We're going to start another round and have a look see what the shotgun can do. It's pretty beastly. This thing is quite a fun shotgun. You you don't even need turrets like this early on. Just shotgun everything down is far more fun than turrets could ever be. And... Yeah. It's got a lovely feel to it, you got to admit. So now we'll just smash up a bunch of, well, robots like this and get ourselves a few more scrap parts. Now, as it goes along, you're just going to keep killing them this way, and they'll keep giving you these things like mines and turrets and stuff that you're probably not going to really use. You're just going to sort of stand up here and blap everything with a shotgun because it's so ridiculously overpowered. And though I, I tend to go a little bit further out to buy myself a little bit more time to reload. I mean, it's not like the, the raids don't become more difficult, and they're supposed to become absolutely insanely difficult after a while. But for now, though, it's just a good way of collecting resources, and sort of like in every game, you want to just use your character as much as possible, grind up as much resources as possible, and then worry about building stuff. Mainly because I don't know what's a good plan just yet. Like I said, I've only played this for about 30 minutes, and I've only played with like, the minor mechanics. I'm trying to figure out how to turn this into a bit of a factory? That might take a while. Anyway, after hitting about level 11, you'll notice this thing down here, time remaining 66 minutes. Now at first I thought, is that how much time I have left before the demo ends? This is a free demo thing you can just play off Steam. Uh, no, it turns out that's just energy. So you've got this bar up there, that's the energy shield on your thingy, but it's also slowly wearing down. If we say give them five of these energy cells we picked up off enemies, it gives us more time. So it also cranks up the shield. So as you'll see there, the shield is getting larger or the bar is filling up. Now, this is to stop you from just sitting there and doing nothing because the waves don't start until you interact with the home base. And there is another element to this game, and that is exploration and finding stuff. For example, let's just wander over here to this. This is close by, easy to get at, and there's not really that much threats wandering around. In fact, we'll switch to this. And you can find, oh look, a bunch of scrap segments. We'll take those. Uh, what's this? Yeah, we'll take whatever's in there as well. And you can find all this junk around, including weapons, ammo, and more importantly, let's find some enemies here that might have what we're looking for. Oh, but look at that. It's an industrialized shack on Mars. Who knew? Uh, yeah, we're just going to find all of these and hopefully we're going to run into some bad guys in a bit. Oh, here we go. Bad guys. I notice I'm not wasting my shotgun ammo here. I don't really see the point. Ooh. Now this gives us access to some different tech things. See, we just picked up one there. You can see in the top left, it's showing that we've got 30 of one type and two of another. That's to do with the, well, personal tech research, as in stuff that can improve your character, which is important. Seriously. These things don't really seem like much of a threat right now. I'm, I think that's intentional, but it does feel a little bit weird. They just sort of hang around blapping at you, and then you just turn around and just riddle them. Uh, after clawing our way to the top of this weird-looking structure, we found this barrel, and it says, Not enough explosives. So I think if we bring a bunch of explosives up here, we can blast that open, though... I'm not sure what we'd be blasting open. Oh, is there fall damage? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's test that, shall we? Yeah, I think we can safely say there's no fall damage. Anyway, let's uh, maybe grab a few more of those. Actually, we've got 20 of those blue research signs up in the top left. Let's see if we can't get about 50 before we go back. And there's another one. Jesus. How much exploration space is there in this game? Like, I was just expecting, like, a small starting area, but... Like, there's a lot here. I wasn't really expecting this, especially considering this is only a demo. God, it's gonna take forever to explore. What is our base at in terms of power? Okay, our home base shield is at about... It's actually quite good. We've probably got an hour of exploration time before we have to go back. I'm gonna see how much I can find out here. Whoa, 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 what the hell were you? Uh, there's dust coming out of there. That seems, uh... Oh, these things. Come on. Come here, kitty cat. Stop bobbing up and down. That makes it really awkward to shoot you. Well, that seems, uh... Inviting.
Okay. Don't cry when you die. Oh, well. You know, I was going to try and hang around and do a whole bunch of stuff. But if we're... They've got a don't cry when you die. That's like just waving a red flag at someone and going, Come on, have some fun. What the... Hey, let me buy. I... I'm over 18. Let me in. What if we got our pistol at? Oh, God damn it. Fine. Hmm. Maybe we have to go down this way. Yeah. Well, that's no fun. I was really hoping there'd be a lot more to this. Never mind. Maybe we need some more stuff to make it work. Whoa. The hell is this? Okay, they've got a big wall around it, but you can just skirt around the outside, or we can drop straight in. Uh. Hmm. Well, let's just have some fun. Come here, buddy. You seem to be malfunctioning. Allow me to fix that. Permanently. Oh, come on. Don't do that to me. Don't do me that way. Oh, well, that makes it really hard to aim. Now, skip current. Unstuck. There we go. Well, thank God they included that. Yeah, I don't know what that is, and I don't want to fall in there. Anything else around here worth stealing? You know, I could step into that yellowy stuff and hope I don't die. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not risking it. I'm not even sure how the save system works in this. I might lose all my progress. That would be very annoying. Uh, yeah. They also need a button that allows you to just take everything out of the storage chest instantly without having to go through the F and then take. Hey, come... Where are you going? Come back here and die. I want your little glowy bits on the inside. There we go. We're up to 39 of those things. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, okay, so fall damage does exist. Never mind. I was wrong. I take it back. After exploring far, far, far too much. There's way too much for a simple... It's nuts. We've got all of this resources, but the most important bit was the tech we brought back. If you're going through the tech tree here, you'll see there's this side here. This all uses these weird blue-looking ones. And it gets you the double jump, which I have learned a long time ago. Double jump is awesome. It also gets you dash and ground pound one, which I think you need about 85 of those uh, blue things to get all of these techs. So, yes, that should make us much more effective in combat. Double jump acquired. Okay. Oh, little sparks come out of your shoes when you do it, or little puffs. Hmm. Okay, but you got to land on something before you can do it again. That's pretty much the standard issue thing. Yeah, that's going to make getting about the place much handier. Can we actually jump up on top of this, I always wondered? Alright, so there, there's limits to it. Actually, not that bad. Cool. Oh, and we also brought back more than enough power to keep our shields going for a lot longer if we need to. Right now, we're just researching the next one, which is, what, uh, dash. Always useful, and then ground pound. Oh, yes. Assault rifle. Yes, I will take it. Okay, let's see what this feels like. Still prefer the shotgun, but I'm more than willing to diversify if needs be. Well, with all that research complete, which I still can't figure out how to actually use the ground and pound, I, or the dash. I think we've got slide down and we can do double jump, but oh, never mind. What we want to do here is we want to make shotgun ammo. At some point we're going to run out, so to make shotgun ammo you need scrap. We know how to make scrap. Scrap's easy. We grab all of this scrap segments we get and we check it into the scrap blast furnace and that turns it into scrap metal. Perfect. So we've got that. Then the next thing up we need is scrap metal pellets. Now that we can make one second. Scrap metal pellets, where did I put you? Right, we go to the recycler. We dump in some of the scrap segment, the stuff we can turn into scrap metal. We grab some of that. We dump it in here. And that actually turns into scrap metal pellets. Perfect. So, oh, and as well as that, we can take one of these and we can stick it in here and it turns back into two scrap segment. And then, where's my word? It's two scrap segment to make scrap metal. Okay, we got 54. Oh, actually, no, there is a small loss. It's three. You need three of these to make one scrap metal, so you can't recycle things perfectly. However, that gives us the scrap metal pellets. It also gives us the... Mm, gives us the scrap metal and the scrap metal pellets. It does not give us the weak explosives. 
I get the weak explosives. This gets, well, it gets more complicated. We need magnesium ore and scrap metal. Scrap metal's fine, it's the magnesium ore. Used for craft crafting, obtained from processing dolomites in the material processing. That was a film, but whatever. This is the material processor. And we can upgrade this by giving it 25 energy cells and 25 scrap metal, which we're going to do. Okay. That was cool. Anyway, now we can process basalt into iron ore. Wait, is that it? Contains useful materials, can be processed with a material ore processor. Iron, traces of niobium. Okay. If we upgrade it again, upgrade machine to process dolomite. Excellent. So all we need is a hundred scrap metal and a hundred energy cells. Fine. Fine. I will get you a hundred scrap metal, you blood-sucking machine. I have come bearing your blood price, vile machine. Okay. Now, these uh, little transport belts here, it seems you can get automated machines to come feed this, which is the satisfori satisfactory aspect of that, though I don't know how well that's done. Uh, basalt, yes, we have some. Take take the basalt. Does that actually put Iron ore, iron ore, iron ore? Well, that's, um... Okay. That's it. And I'm expecting something a little bit more dramatic. Now we need to get our hands on some dolomite, which... Honestly, I'm not sure where we're supposed to find that. You know what, you, you can have the Mars rocks as well. You'll uh, give us some basalt and... What the...? Wait, so if we process the Mars rocks, it gives us basalt. Am I... And if we process the basalt, it gives us more iron ore. Okay, so now the Mars rocks have actually become more valuable. You're better off actually coming back after you've upgraded. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be processing all of this stuff until I've got my hands on some dolomite. Give me a minute, I'm gonna go looking for that and see if we can't find some around here somewhere. Alright, that is our base over there. And I am 100% sure this stuff was not here before. Yeah, basalt and iron ore right beside our base, that seems a little bit odd, but fine. And there's more right here. I am definite that I scouted around and I did not see this before. Maybe it only appears after you research it, or maybe it transforms something that was already there. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can't find ourselves some of that sweet, sweet dolomite. Well, looky what we got here. Find magnesium-rich dolomite. Okay, we get mostly magnesium ore and some... Okay, 50-50 mix. And I think there's another one down here. Ooh, two more batches. Oh, and some Mars rock. After lots of hunting around, we have found ourselves 20 dolomite and a bunch of magnesium ore. And it turns out you just get more magnesium ore? Okay, so the dolomite turns into even more magnesium. Perfect. That just means we have more shotgun shells. I'm really curious to see, though, how many. Because if we need hundreds of shotgun shells, like, mining it that way is just going to be painful. So, back to where we started. Weak explosives. Yes, we will have one of them, please. And... done. Okay, next up, we're going to want shotgun ammo. Which requires weak explosives, some metal pellets, and scrap metal. Ooh, I forgot the scrap metal. One second. Yeah, we found a bunch of that lying around as we went. Alright, so, we will do one. How many shotgun shells? 24 shotgun shells! Alright, I was worried it wouldn't give us enough, but that is... Right. So that means for two scrap, we get 24 shotgun shells. The weak expl- yeah, so two- Two scrap metal, which is basically six pieces of that, uh, oh, what do you call that stuff? Scrap debris? Eh, uh, scrap segments. So six pieces of scrap segments and some one piece of dolomite give us 24 shotgun shells. That's, that's good. That would actually work because we definitely get more than that out of the, the robots we kill. And the thing is, how do we automate it is the question. Alright, so here was me trying to figure out how we were going to automate the production of ammo. And uh, then I kind of noticed something. If I go in here and go into tech tree, there's a back arrow. Like, I was looking at all this tech here and we were going for makeshift gun turrets and solar cells, power systems, and... There's an entire iron tech tree. It comes with projectile turrets, one beam turrets, rocket turrets, melee turrets, ammo printers, fuel generators, blast furnace, assemblers, 3D printers, iron cogs, spike traps. But, okay, okay, and ooh, laser assault rifle. Yes? Yes, I, I want that. I just need to... Uh. Right, and not only that, there's then a bunch of other tech trees in aluminum, titanium, graphene, and I don't even know what that is. So, 
I think to open this, we need to research iron plates. Uh, I used to craft items. Okay, can we... Additional drives needed to complete research. That takes five. Can we actually use this? Or is this locked out? You know what? I'm going to worry about that in a minute. For now, we have set this up over here. This here is our electromagnetic scrap launcher. What it does is launches a bunch of scrap forward. It's sort of like a blast shotgun to push people back. This is supposed to electrocute anything that comes near it. This is supposed to spike up out of the ground anytime anyone goes near it. And this thing here is just a laser turret. And, oh, and behind that we put our scrap gun. And the problem with this scrap gun is it takes ammo to use. And the problem with this over here is this also takes ammo to use, but it only uses, where is it? Ah, yeah. Ammo scrap. One moment. There we go. It takes scrap metal pellets. So it takes energy and scrap metal pellets. Now the thing is, I haven't quite figured out the energy system yet. For example, we have this here running away. And I can interact with it. It seems to produce 12 power. But I'm not sure where all that power is actually measured. Uh, total wave survived. It doesn't actually give me how much power we're generating, how much power we need. Maybe I'm missing something. Nine is for the power system. Ah, okay, never mind. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about any of that just yet. For now, I want to see what happens when we start this next wave. I have specifically built on this section here so that it should funnel all our enemies in there and hopefully our traps will do. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Uh, I suppose a few softening up blows can't hurt. Let's see what happens when they hit it. Okay. That seems to help a little bit. We're just gonna start firing indiscriminately into the mess. Oh, there's a lot of them. Alright, maybe I should have built a few more. <laughs> Seriously, is that it? Come on, bring it on. Toasters. Ooh. <laughs> it launches him in the air. Oh, it's skeet. Hey, anything else? Doink. Okay, I need to learn how to play around the traps more. That was... That was actually way easier. The fact that we were able to funnel them all in there and oh my god, the noise of collections. Well, that worked out pretty good. I'm uh, gonna have to invest in more traps, but I'm really curious to go like further down the tech tree. I want to go a lot further down the tech tree. I want to get to the point where we're having waves of thousands coming at us. Yep. This is kind of what I was hoping for when I started playing this game. Just lots of exploding robots. And bouncing robots. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I kind of do want to upgrade this shotgun, but at the same time, I kind of want to hold up all my upgrade points for the... Oh, get away from my base. Damn, stop that. Stop that. We're going to need to upgrade our turrets, aren't we? Oh. I think that's about it. Any left alive? Anyone? Seriously? There's someone around here that's caught on something, is there? Hey, there you go. Done. Oh, we made a few changes. We checked out a few more of these electromagnetic scrap launchers. They're actually pretty cheap. And, oh god, that's a lot. Hey, guys. I'm going to decide to go through the assault rifle this time around. I do like the assault rifle, though. I can't make ammo for it just yet. <laughs> oh my god! Yep, yep, I'm finding this much more effective. Lots more scrap launchers. Oh. Uh, right, they are putting, pushing through quite a bit. I'm gonna have to be more careful, aren't I? Stay away from the... Okay, that's it. Just shotgun the lot. I think I just find the shotgun better. And are we done yet? Are we done yet? Whew. Oh my god, there's so much scrap. I'm gonna need more inventory space. One second. We have been stockpiling a lot of gun parts. 
can use those to upgrade stuff. I'm thinking shotgun. It just seems to be the best weapon so far. I'm thinking damage would do the nice upgrade. Clip size would do the nice upgrade. Don't care about accuracy, actually. And now let's see how this works out. I've moved things around a bit. These are our two guns. They've been upgraded at a level, so they have do more damage. Uh, then we've kind of got this... Kind of got them so they're going to come through here, through this, and then that's the last thing that will greet them. And here we've got your laser turret. We've got your spike trap that's going to force them into the roof. Then we've got your scrap spring that's going to crush them into the ground. And then we've got a bunch of sort of blast shotgunny type things that are going to shoot at them as they pass through and then they have to get past this test of turret. So that's the theory. Actually, do we have anything left? No, that's fine. So let's start this sucker up and see what happens. I'm kind of curious and hopefully this works slightly better than the last time. We got 80 enemies to deal with. Probably fine. Oh, and I figured out how to use all the uh, abilities. For example, pressing the alt button causes us to boost and pressing the control left control causes us to ground pound. Uh, you. Seriously? Okay, fine. Uh, are they bugged out? That's probably bad. How are they not dying? Uh, oh god. Don't attack the walls. I think we've messed up. Come on. Do they chase us? I think they're actually chasing us. That kind of... Oh god. I was about to say that works in her favor, but it is slightly messy. <laughs> Explode. Oh, well that's not good. Looks like I'm gonna have to redo the walls. Assuming we survive. Oh god. I'm glad I put mines everywhere in here as well. Hey! Turrets over there are doing a job. Hey you, what are you doing? Will, will the turrets actually shoot you? No, it appears they don't want to. Oh! Well, okay, so that went horribly wrong. I think I need to get rid of the roof on this, so you guys need to go. Yeah. Not enough inventory space. Fine, fine, I'll sort it out, but we need to redo that because they smashed through the walls instead of going through the choke point. And that was very, very dangerous. Our base shield is now very low. I wonder if that was me shooting it, though. Well, we've done some repairs. It's time to see if they worked. All we gotta do is kill 120 enemies. That should be... whatever. Fine. Fine, I tell you. We'll just... soften them up a bit from the distance. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the shotgun. Yep, that works. <laughs> okay. No, don't go around the sides. Go straight through. What are they doing? I think they need me to be on the ground floor. I'm not on the ground floor. They seem to freak out. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with this. This just lets the shotgun run absolutely rampant. And the odd ones that make it by should... Oh. 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 Ah. Ah. Oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I think we need to be on the ground floor. And when we are... Oh, God. Yeah, that seems to work quite well. Anyone else? Hey guys, what are you doing? Stop attacking my walls. Attack me! Uh, I think we got most of them. Alright, I think I got it this time. Stay on the ground so that they don't freak out. And that they do actually try and come down this corridor. And two, I mounted three machine guns up there. Uh, and we can maybe soften up a bit from down here. Why not? Hey, are you all going to come in here? That would be nice. 
No, you're still gonna go around the corner. That's just really annoying. <laughs> well, that is pretty good killage right there. Jesus! This isn't even like close to end game. This is just sort of late early game. We haven't even got to the actual crazy amounts of robots yet. Well, if this is the way it starts. I'm interested to see how it's going to end. Now, I know my last several attempts to get them to go into our kill maze were completely unsuccessful, but this time, this time I'm hopeful. We've made it wide enough that they should have plenty of space to go through here. They're going to be faced by rows of shotguns on each side, and I put some laser thingies down there, they're terrible, whatever, they were free. And we just have to test and see if it works. Now, I've double layered this wall on this side, and I've double layered it on that side, so they should not be able to accidentally just stumble into our core base. That's the hope. Anyway, oh, let's take the check tech three tree before we go in. How much do we need for that? Ooh, 25. No, no. We got the SMG. Yep, yeah, also research that. In fact, I think we still have some leftover research we can do in here, do we? Hey, scrap spring traps. Nope, that requires 88. You know what? Go for it. You can start it now. We'll finish it later. All right, let's, uh, let's bring on the pain. Fifty enemies? Sixty? Okay, they're gonna keep going up. Okay, where are you headed? Oh god, they're coming from multiple directions now. Uh, shotgun time. There we go. <laughs> okay, this game is seriously buggy. <laughs> Grand Pound. Oh my god. like a giant sword or a hammer or something to take care of all of these things. I can't even see what's going on. Jesus. I think we're starting to hit the limits of this what this demo can actually do right now with the current state of the game engine. Christ! Okay, it's cleanup time. I'm gonna need more shotgun ammo after this, assuming we survive. Oh my god, I almost killed my own base with a shotgun blast. Uh... Okay, that actually worked out pretty okay. Where the hell... What are you shooting at? Oh. Oh wow, that's a lot of carnage. I love it. Hey! It seems when I try and shoot over some of these things, it just doesn't work. Like, these laser beams appear to block my shooting. Hmm. Yeah, definitely some buggy stuff going on. 
One thing I do like is sometimes these presents are amazing. That's a hundred weak explosive powder. That's what? 25. Wait, that's multiplied by 25. That's 2,500 shots of shotgun ammo. Um, yes, yes, that's beautiful. Don't need it, but whatever. When it comes to the tech tree, I think we've knocked out everything in here, have we? Oh, wait, no, we've got uh, power systems mark too. In fact, we'll knock that out. Then once that's done, that knocks out the entirety of scrap and just leaves iron. We got 700 rounds of shotgun ammo. We've got our little kill box thing all set up as best as we're gonna get it. And we have 470 robot scumbags headed our way. Let's see how much damage we can get done. I figure we can do a fair bit of- oh my- Hi guys! Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> oh! And the thing is, I should be able to target just down the middle here. Yeah, that's what it works. <laughs> oh god! Uh, there's too many. Yeah, there's definitely too many. Ground pound. Ground pound does not, isn't do enough. It does nothing. Oh my god. It's like trying to stop the ocean. Yeah, I should have built more. Oh god, I even upgraded the shotgun for this. I can't see anything, it's just explosions, corpses, and robots. <laughs> God, this just makes no sense, I, I can't even see what's going on. Grand bad. That actually seemed to do a fair bit of damage. I can't... Oh, there we go, I have to actually jump to see what's going on. You supposed to stop this? I think I need better turrets. I'm just guessing. Uh, you. Uh, give me like 50. There you go. And their shields are all back up again. Yeah, just uh, give me 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep blasting these until they're all gone. What are you doing? No wonder nothing was dying. You guys were busy targeting stuff that was inside the walls. I may have to wall in the top of this just to stop them shooting this stuff. Now what are you going to shoot at? Yeah, stop. You're going to break our walls doing that, you know what? Well. That was a huge mess. Now, iron research is a bit weird in that it's very hard to get. You normally only get about 10 iron research per round. Though we did eventually get our hands on the Research Analyzer. This one's an odd duck. What it does is it turns your basic research into, well, your red research into green research. But, uh, well, it costs you 10 red research to make one green research, but it allows you to convert a lot of it. This makes things much simpler. Uh, actually, let's just queue it all up. Yep, yeah, there you go. All 500. We've actually got a thousand of this stuff, so that's like a hundred? We'll probably knock out most of this tech tree. Well, maybe not all of it, but quite a chunk of it. And this is some of the good stuff in here. Though I'm kind of... Mm, I think I'm kind of done. The problem is there's a lot of little glitchy things going on here that kind of just kill it a little bit. I know, very new game. Remember, it's uh, active development, pre-release footage, all that stuff. But uh, for example, when you shoot through here, you'll see we keep clipping those beams. And when I try and get line myself up to do dead range shots, I keep, yeah, I keep hitting off these things. Also, the weapons seem absolutely terrible. I think the only way to win this or to start winning the next rounds properly would be, well, basically stay here, grind out a bunch of this tech, and then grind out a bunch of these turrets. You can get these, you can get the resources to build these turrets if you're willing to run around. You see, let me show you. There's these cases over here. And you can open them up and grab the stuff out of them. And then what you can do is, after you've taken all the stuff out of them and explored places and grabbed all the little piles of resources that are everywhere, you can just save the game and restart it. And then when you come back in, all those cases will be full again and you can go around and collect a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, it also gets you a bunch of weapon upgrades, so you can go into this thing over here and crank up the power on your shotgun or whatever you want. We've got... I think I've spent most of them. 
Yeah, we've got 179 of these gun parts that allow you to upgrade your shotgun and your assault rifle. Shotgun for the win. Assault rifle just seems terrible. Though, and there's a few extra bits, like uh, over here. You can turn your Mars rock into iron ore. That's actually pretty easy to do. In fact, to get the iron ore is a lot easier than I thought it would be. We'll go over here, you see, and there's a little mining machine. This thing right there. And it just sits here. Pounding away at this giant, large Mars rock node. It used to destroy them, but since the latest update, it seems to keep them there. If you built three or four of these, you could just churn in a large amount. So there's another large rock over here. There's several large rocks around the place. I tried to hook them up with the automated little cart things. I don't think they're programmed yet for some reason. Anyway, you can grab all of that, bring it back and smelt it, and get yourself some iron ore. The iron ore you throw into the furnace, and that turns it into iron bars, and those iron bars can be turned directly into ammunition. Every single iron bar is worth about 25 rounds of ammunition for your assault rifle, which is really cheap and easy to manage. Uh, where is it? No, not that one. This one here. Yeah, so it takes two of these to make one iron bar, and that turns into 25 bullets. Pretty handy. Well, I am out of time for this. I, I put in as much time as I could reasonably spare, and I quite enjoyed most of it, though I see some glaring problems with the game. I mean, bear in mind, playtest, stuff like that, it's a active development, all that stuff. So I'm going to be a little bit mean here, but there's, there's good stuff and bad stuff going on here. Uh, the first good thing is, robot waves are amazing. They're just like, it, it feels like the ocean is trying to break on top of you, and you just have to stop them. The problem is, you don't really feel like you've been given the tools to do that efficiently. These weapons are just... pathetic. Also, the, well, these turrets are terrible. The shotgun is probably the most fun I've ever had, though. Uh, also, the fact that they keep clipping your bullets and stopping you from shooting stuff... Really frustrating. Uh, at the same time, you know what? L let me show you. There's, uh, there's an expression once. What is it? Um, players always find a way to optimize the fun out of a game. And yeah, I fall into that category. Uh, I'm not going to apologize for it. It's, it's just the way I'm designed. All right, but over here, we've got our miners. I've maybe expanded the mining operation just a little bit. So we can pop over here and grab an enormous amount of this Mars Rock stuff. Let's see, how much have we got? Almost 1,500. That's a decent amount of Mars Rock. Yeah, those those tray things don't work at all. Now let's go back to base for a second. There's something I'd like to show you. This over here converts Mars Rock into something more usable. So we throw in the 500 Mars Rock and it starts turning it into iron ore. Let's just grab eight of that iron ore while we're here. And then we're going to bring it over to the smelter in this section. Now. It takes two iron ore to make one iron bar. Then we grab those four iron bars, we bring them over to the filament spooler. This is uh, under the iron tech tree. And then we take those four iron bars and chuck them in here. That's going to give us a two filament. Oh, I probably should have done that a little bit better. There we go, so we've got our two filament. So then we take our two filament over to the 3D printer. And let's say we print up two cogs. This makes sense, I swear. Great, now we have two cogs. And then we take those two cogs back to the recycler, and we chuck them in, and it gives us eight scrap. Actually, sometimes it'll give you five scrap for the cogs for some reason. Don't know, don't know why. So we've managed to take... Oh, let me do the math. We managed to turn 16 Mars Rock into nine scrap. It's about a 50% conversion rate. So for every piece of Mars Rock you get, you can turn it into 0.5 of the piece of scrap, a little bit more. That gets interesting, because scrap was one of those things that limits you really early on. And now we can effectively just farm it for infinity. We don't actually have to do any raids at all. We can just sit here and farm up that scrap, and then we can use that scrap to build walls, which takes Mars Rock and scrap. And since Mars Rock is effectively infinite, and scrap is effectively infinite, we can make as many walls as we want. And you know, if I've got the chance to make lots of walls, I'm going to make a massive maze, and I'm going to spend hours doing it, and I'm not actually going to fight any robots, I'm just going to build a giant maze. Then, all those other problems, like just say the scrap launcher turret. It requires an electromagnet, wire, and, well, five scrap. The electromagnets, however, would probably be a bit of a limiter on that build. Let me see. Oh, wait, no. It only takes scrap metal and salvaged wires to make the electromagnet. So, so long as we have wire, we can make an awful, awful, awful lot of scrap turrets. And the scrap turrets run on, well, scrap metal pellets, as in this stuff down here, scrap metal pellets. Scrap metal pellets are made out of scrap segment, and scrap segment can be made out of scrap metal, meaning you have an infinite amount of ammo for them, meaning you can produce masses of them if you really want to. So as you can see, I would just spend hours grinding that up. I wouldn't be able to help myself. The option to do that? Mm, yes. Now, scrap wind turbines are a little bit more complex. They require three wire and scrap metal, both of which are infinite, and scrap batteries. Scrap batteries are interesting in that 
Well, all you need is one of these plants. These are actually missing for a while, but they're back now. One plant, one of these plants. And go back here. Go to scrap battery, and for one plant and two scrap, you can get... 100 scrap batteries. I don't know if that's a mistake or not. But what that means is, you can make just a, just so many wind turbines as long as you've got salvaged wires. Now, if you want salvaged wires, we have 232 of them. That's that's quite a lot. But if you want even more, you just go around the map and look for scrap computers. There's loads of scrap computers out there. I can do a scrap computer run and come back with 10 or 15 of them. And then you chuck them in here, and there we go. We got nine salvaged wires, a couple of laser lights. Let's just say, finding the wire is not the biggest choke point. Meaning, if I wanted to, I could just sit here, mine a bunch of rock, make a huge, enormous maze, and just fill it full of those scrap tarts, like just every square inch of it, which, I have infinite amounts of ammo, I can make pretty much infinite amounts of power, I, yeah, I would spend hours doing that, I wouldn't be able to help myself, and I do not apologize for it. <laughs> I know it's dumb. Actually, I take some of that back, it turns out, two Mars rock only gives you a chance of getting iron ore, it doesn't actually guarantee you iron ore. So you seem to get about, oh, about 90 iron ore for every 500 Mars rock. Still, yeah, I'm gonna mine the bejesus out of that. I wonder if I could find one of those uh, super large rocks, but in basalt. So, channeling a little bit of my inner Josh, guess what I did? <laughs> I decided to see how high up we could build using the tiles. Turns out we can build pretty high up. Like, you can see a long distance. You can even see that blue flicker in the distance. That seems to be the artificial walls they put in to stop people going too far. It's a pretty big map. I mean, damn, there's a lot of stuff. Ooh, and there's another piece of big black rock over there that we should go uh, harvest at some point. There, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a fall. Let's uh, let's do this as a backflip, eh? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're getting there. Soon, soon. And... Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Hold on, I want to grab another couple of hundred uh, wall segments and we'll go try this again. I really wish this game had some sort of elevator system. This is making me a little bit dizzy and a little bit nauseous, but you know, not not that much more to go, probably. Well, it looks like we found the roof. You can see it here. It's like those weird blue line things. Yeah, so you can actually get up pretty high. Though you can see the entire map from up here. Was it worth it? No. no. <laughs> we did get... You know what? I want to stretch this out a bit. I think I brought along way too many. How many have we got left? We got about 350 scrap panels. Um, give me a minute. I'm sort of curious. Could we be able to see this all the way up here from down in our base? Because it seems like there's a lot of draw distance there. Hmm. Yeah. Let, let, let's head back to base. This could take a while, though. Holy Jesus. I suppose it sign of a good stable engine that it hasn't crashed out, though this game has... Oh, okay, it's dropped me through the floor a couple of times already. Something to do with when you do the boost function thing? Yeah, it doesn't like that very much. I think from this distance I might actually be able to make it all the way back to the base if I play this right. We do have the boost function thingy and we can just go... Yeah, that's pretty good. Come on! Oh, ho, ho. Oh, we could have went way further away. Actually, that it? That all we got? And... Mm, like it, love. Okay, easy peasy. Yep. Yep, we can now see that all the way from down here. I'm wondering... Oh, no, no. Never mind. I am done. I have Rimworld to do, and that was, though, a fun experiment. The next thing, as I say, would be more advice as how I think the game should go. Now, bearing in mind, I am not a game developer, and really, I'm just a gamer. Uh, so, not really that qualified to give any of this advice, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, you know, I'm going to. Uh, when it comes to this game, the main selling point is the mass of robots. Just having massive waves of robots coming at you and blowing them up with this is should be the primary focus. This base building seems to be a little bit of a distraction right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, the buildings are cool and some of the ideas are there, it's just... It feels right now like I have to slow down all the time to build up a whole bunch of stuff and get ammo and scrap things for turrets and do all this stuff to try and make this work. And they don't really seem very good and I spend most of my time trying to tweak my defenses to just hopefully survive the next wave. There's no... It needs to be more focused on killing the bad guys and spending less time f dealing with the base. Like, get rid of the whole transporting resources from one area to the other. Teleport it or something. Oh, and the inventory system. Yeah, this needs to be bigger. You should never have to actually worry about your inventory in this. It shouldn't be an inventory management game, it's a shooty game. Well, again, 
only just my opinion. I just find it annoying when I go out to go uh, raid the map, and then I have to come back because my inventory is full of stuff, and I, because I hadn't emptied it before I left. There's just little things like that that would maybe streamline it a bit. There's about 20 to 40 hours of gameplay of just blasting stuff to bits. I think that's about the, the life of this game would have. And focusing entirely on just blowing stuff up would keep me in go <laughs> engaged an awful lot longer. This uh, base building stuff just doesn't quite have it. It's, it's not really a factory or a satisfactory. It's just uh, it's a little bit of flavor. It's the spice that adds a little bit to the game so that you're not constantly blowing stuff up. If you're playing it now, there's a few bugs you can take advantage of. One is when it comes down to Mars Rock. Normally it only gives you iron. But once you have Basalt open, if you stick Basalt and go back to Mars Rock, these two get left here, and then when you start processing Mars Rock, it produces you Basalt as well for some reason. I have no idea why. And then you can process the Basalt for even more iron. It's just one of those things. Uh, over here, when it comes to the Research Analyzer, what this thing does is it converts some of your tech. As in, right now we have 1,081 of those red tech things. However, if we go in here and it'll say, yeah, we can convert those for you into green tech, which is more expensive. So great, I will dump 500 in there, then I will come back over here and check, and I still have a thousand. So I've been just grinding up enormous amounts of this green science, and I've cleared most of the green tech tree. Well, I've opened up all the parts of the green tech tree. Why are you not researched? I thought I researched you already. It makes it pretty handy to actually do all the research, though. Uh, that bug is there. Was there another one? No, I think that's it. That's all the bugs. Uh, some of the main bottlenecks you're going to face are scrap, but scrap, once you get to iron, is completely removed as a bottleneck. Energy cells are supposed to be a bottleneck as well, but I've got about 1,500 of them just from killing stuff. There is these power generators. They give you energy, but you have to feed them these power cells. I don't use them. I just mass produce the wind turbines. Uh, I even built some of these scrap solar, though. These produce five power. Wind turbines produce 12. The only reason I produced these uh, scrap solar panels was I didn't have access to the plants at the time that allowed me to build the batteries that allowed me to make these things. So power can be pretty much mass farmed. And you don't even need to spread them out or do anything weird. You can only have one material processor as far as I can see so far. So this is going to be your bottleneck on iron and steel production. It's not usually a huge deal, but I would like to see the opportunity to make more of those. That would help. You get these scrap battery banks that are supposed to store power. They don't seem to do anything right now. So just don't bother, I suppose. You get this assembly machine for making some of the turrets, but by the time you get it, you're going to be onto the steel section. And the main bottleneck I can see here is, where is it? Servo motors. That's it. The late game stuff all seems to require lots of these servo, servo, servo motors. Uh, ooh, spike trap only requires scrap segment. Hmm. Now I kind of want to try a bunch of those. So do yourself a favor when you're playing. Uh, when it comes to repairing walls, just don't. Well, okay, you can't actually repair walls. You have to deconstruct them and replace them. And the walls will be damaged by the robots and by you shooting and all sorts of stuff. And this wave seems really weenie. What's going on? I'm trying out these new things here and they seem to crash the game every time I use them. Yep, yeah, I would not advise you to use those big rolly spike traps. Bad idea. Bad idea. As I was saying about the walls before it crashed, uh, re if you reload the game, it resets the health on all the walls back up to 2500. Your other option is to deconstruct and reconstruct the walls, which is much slower and more painful. Uh, do not use these roly-poly spike traps. No, uh, they just seem to crash out the game every time a robot rolls across it. Right now, you can't actually buy the game, so it's only in demo, and it's probably a good thing. I don't think I would have been happy if I had to pay money for this game right now. Too many crashes, too many bugs, too many things that don't work. It's, it's you know, it's it's definitely in the alpha playtest film, but there is an interesting gem of a game here, namely massive waves of robots rolling at you as you build a bigger and more intricate maze of death. I'd probably give the person more flat ground to work with. If you hit seven, you can see that blue think that's how far your energy field extends to. That means you can't build a maze out further than that, otherwise the traps won't work. They'll just have no power. Uh, power as well is a bit finicky. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's definitely some potential there. Uh, right now, I'm just, uh, I'll be curious. It'll be on my radar to see if it gets more interesting. Anyway, I have to get back to the ice sheet. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. base. 